Having selected the key relationship, the next step is to understand how the value exchange happens or will happen. The interaction layer is about defining the transaction engine of your future platform. The transaction engine enables roles to act on their motivation using their assets. The primary building blocks of a transaction engine are touchpoints and channels that enable coordinated value exchanges between two or more roles. The coordinated value exchanges happen in channels. A guest reserves a unique home provided by the host. The value exchange is therefore a request, including payment details for some additional information regarding the availability of the unique home. An app is the place where this value exchange happens. There is an app for guests and an app for hosts. A part of the request is an introduction of the guest reserving to make sure that both roles understand who they are interacting with. This exchange of information can happen either in the app or outside using other messaging tools. The host confirms the reservation requested by the guest. The value is a reservation in exchange for a part or the entire payment and is initiated using the host app. Once confirmed, a bit of arrangement follows. This transaction can be initiated by both roles to get a bit of understanding on some details regarding the trip. Here again, Airbnb's messaging tool is used to communicate around the check-in details. The next transaction is the actual staying in the unique home. The channel for the touchpoint stay is home, including various chat options in case the guest and host need to get in touch. The guest gives its presence to the host in exchange for the home. At the end of each trip, host and guest will review each other using their respective apps. This transaction can be initiated by both roles. They send each other a private feedback and a public review, and so they contribute to their reputation. Go and enumerate the transactions you can see happening. The atomic transactions that happen or could happen, if so facilitated, in realizing the potential as mapped. The key concern is understanding the channels and touchpoints that help reduce the transaction and other costs. Here is the platform transaction engine. Take your key relationship and start by filling in the touch points that need to happen in order for roles to be able to exchange the potential mapped. The order of the touch points might resemble a customer journey. However, in this case, it's a journey of at least two interacting roles. Mark which role initiates the transaction. And write down what value the roles exchange in each touchpoint. Continue with integrating the channels that need to be in place for the transactions to happen. These can be a specific technology, such as an app, website or email, or a real-life context.
At the end of this step, you will have your completed transaction engine. In the step that follows, you will work on your innovation engine. So stay tuned!